everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a brand new feature or setting that's a part of your Samsung phone after you get Samsung One UI 2.5. And it's a way that you're able to keep settings after you've already used them inside of the camera. So what I mean by that is let's say that we go inside of Pro Video, then what happens is when I actually get out of this and let's say that we close out completely, once I go back inside of the camera, it goes right back to that same shooting mode that I just got done using. So maybe you're somebody who always loves live focus or maybe you always use Pro Video, but every time that you always went back to that camera app, it actually always went over inside of Photo. Now, all you'd have to do to turn these on is gonna be on the settings on the top left-hand side. You'll scroll all the way down to this section here that's called settings to keep. So you can see this one is already toggled on. This is that camera mode. And this one you were able to see in this demo in this video. Basically, when I was able to get out of the application of camera completely, close it, I went right back in and went into the same camera mode as when I went out. Now you're able to do that with two other things. You can do that with your selfie angle, so you can keep the angle you last use for the front camera instead of always switching back to normal view. So this just means that if you always like that wide camera lens when you're taking a selfie, uh, you can turn this on and every time you take a selfie, it'll always be there. Same thing right up over here, you know, as your camera mode. And then you can also do the same thing with filters. So you can keep the filters you've applied to each mode instead of removing them when you close the camera. So let's take a look at this selfie mode. So for the selfie mode, let's say that we go right back inside of the camera. And if we were to turn on a selfie, you can see that it's set up on the one person. When you go to that wider image, you have two people. Let's say now we get out of it, completely close out. And we go right back inside of here. You can see that it stayed. It's actually great and perfect because even when you have that whole last mode turned on, it was set up for a camera for the front facing, which is actually really cool. And then when I turn on that second one that we just got done seeing, which was keeping that angle, here we go, it kept the angle. So with both of those turned on, it took me right back into the front facing of photo uh, with that wide camera. It's actually really nice uh, and it comes in handy for anybody who takes a lot of selfies. Now, you also have different things on the very top. You also have filters, you also have my filters. So any of these uh, filters that you would like to create, you are able to do that. But let's say that for some reason you always take a photo in, let's say, cool. So if you look better, if some of the pictures you take look better inside of cool, if you were to keep it inside of cool, and let's say we go inside of the settings one more time. Let's go down to settings to keep. We also wanna keep our filters. So now what's gonna happen is when you go back up over here, you can see that this one was toggled on. It's underneath cool. I'm gonna keep the intensity at five. I'm gonna completely get out of this thing, close all, go back inside of the camera. Uh, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna take a look. Look at that. It's still underneath cool with the intensity of five. So it does a really good job at just keeping the things that you always would like to use. I mean, this phone has a lot of RAM. It has a lot of stuff going on. It's a super smart, you know, phone. So you might as well be able to keep all of those settings that you want. Now, personally, I'm not much of somebody who uses filters. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna turn this off. The selfie camera is actually really nice wide, usually always looks pretty good. And you can also do that with the live focus. So uh, yeah, it's it, it's really cool to have both of those turned on if you're somebody who uses the front facing camera. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air